In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create any end-to-end -end -end automation workflows with AI using this MCP server, which has deep knowledge on how to build end-to-end -end -end workflows with high accuracy. Not only that, but with the full configurations, we can actually provide the instructions in Cloud Desktop and it will start to use the MCP tools to collect information and be able to start building the workflows inside of our NAN -N accounts. And it can also be able to create complex NAN workflows using this MCV tools. For example, with this AI job match workflows, it's able to search for relevant nodes and get the nodes details, then create the workflows for us. And not only that, it can also be able to modify the existing current workflows that we have inside of your NAN accounts. And I was able to use that to modify the current existing workflow that I have inside of my NAN accounts. So the possibilities here are endless. So stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how to set this up on your local machine so that you can build any NAN workflows using AI here. So if you're interested, let's continue watching. So with that being said, first thing first, let's set up our NAN locally with Docker. So here I navigated to NAN repository on GitHub. And if you were to scroll down, you can see that it gives you the exact command that you can set up locally with Docker. So we can just run this command here and it will basically start our Docker container. And of course, if you don't have Docker installed, just navigate to Docker and download this for your desktop. And if you're interested in learning Docker, I also have a video on my channel, which I will link it in the description below. Feel free to check out that video for a complete beginner guide on how to use Docker. So with that being said, let's continue the video. All right, so once you have Docker running, what you can do now is to open a terminal. And here we're gonna run this command. And what we have to worry about here for this command here is this port right here. We're gonna run our NAN on 5678 ports from our local host. So if we were to run this, now you can see that it's downloading the NAN image. Okay, so now you can see that it has downloaded the image, start the container, and now our NAN application is available on our local host 5678. So now you can see I have visited the local host ports 5678. So here I'm just gonna set up for the owner account for NAN. So once I register the account, now you can see that we're in the dashboard. So once we set up our NAN locally, what we can do now is to get our NAN API keys. We can do that inside of our settings. So we click on settings here, and inside of settings, you can see that there is a NAN API. So we're just gonna click on this. And here we're gonna create our API key. And in terms of the name for the API key, we're just gonna give it a name, NAN MCP Eric Tech. And here we can also set an expiration, and these are the scopes. And once we satisfy with the settings, we can click on save. All right, so once we have our API key, now is where the magic happened, where we can be able to run our MCP server to create our NAN workflows. And to do so, we're gonna follow the documentation for the NAN MCP. Now, based on documentation, there's two ways we can set this up. So we can use the MPX here, which is the fastest, and we can use that to run our NAN MCP server. The other way we can do this is using Docker. But for this demonstration, we're just gonna use option one for the installation. So in that case, once we run this, which here you can see we have our NAN MCP server running, now what we can do is we can be able to add a configuration to Claude Desktop. Now, there are two types of configurations we can do. One is the basic configuration, which means that it will basically create the JSON file for the workflow where we have to manually import that JSON workflow onto the NAN application. The other one is a full configuration, which means that the MCP tools have the ability to basically create the workflows on your NAN applications. So it basically removes that manual steps for us to import that workflow onto our NAN application by just using this MCP tool which is pretty cool, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So in that case, we're just gonna navigate to Cloud, and here inside of Cloud, we're just gonna click on settings. So here, click on settings. All right, so instead of settings here, we're just gonna click on developers, and then here, we're just gonna click on edit settings. All right, so here you can see, I basically opened this file inside of a VS Code or any code editor, and basically I can just copy this object here, we just simply paste the MCP server configurations, full configurations here, and then we change the API URL to be localhost 5678. And then here we just paste the API key that we created earlier. And then we're just gonna click on save and restart our Claude desktop. All right, so back to Claude, what we can do then is we can be able to paste this prompt, uh, which here you can see I basically instruct NAN to create a new workflow for me using the manual trigger and also the set node. So here we're just gonna send this request and let's see what it responds. Okay, so here you can see it first gets the nodes information and then it starts to create the workflow with the manual trigger. And now you can see it uses the NAN create workflow tool, which I have already granted its access. And now you can see it creates the workflow. Here's the name, here is the status, which currently is inactive. Here's the ID, here's the structure. All right, so now you can see that if I were to navigate to NAN, now you can see that we have a workflow created called manual trigger with status set. So if we were to open this, you can see that if we were to trigger this workflow, we have our manual trigger, we have our set status, and inside of our status, it says it works. 
Okay, so now you can see we have our simple workflow created using our MCP. All right, so I also want to show you this quickly. This is my own NAN account, which hosted on the cloud using AWS. And you can actually get your API keys for your hosted NAN as well by going through the settings. And inside of settings, you can click on the NAN API. And here you can see you can create your own API key and be able to use that inside of our cloud configuration setting. And once you set this up, restart your cloud, and pretty much you can use cloud and this MCP to make changes on your NAN account. And of course, if you're interested in hosted NAN on the cloud, then you can check out this video right here where I talk about how you can be able to host your NAN on AWS completely for free. So if you're interested, check this out. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can be able to use Claude and this MCP to create a complex NAN workflow. All right, so here's what we're gonna create. So we're gonna create a AI job match workflow, which is basically using AI here to evaluate the job and the person's resume. So we're gonna first scrape job using a web scraper, and then we put them on a Google Sheets like this. Then we're gonna use AI here to evaluate each job with the person's resume. And then we're gonna generate a score to see if there's a match. So it sounds pretty complex, and let's see if Claude can handle this. Okay, so back to Claude, here's the prompt that I use to ask Claude to generate a prompt for our AI job matching workflow. And I basically attach the photo, and here you can see I also provide more information for the web scraping tool that we're gonna use, which we're using the scraping doc here to scrape jobs from LinkedIn. And here you can see this is the API documentation, and the first step is to basically scrape the jobs. And what's really good about this platform is that it actually can be able to take care of the rotating proxies, the headless browsers, the captchas, and making the web scraping much more easier for us to scrape the content. So let's give this product a shot and see how this works. All right, so once we sign up, this is what it looks like. So you can see we have our dashboard, our API key, also our usage charts and stats. And here on the left, you can see that we have different types of web scrapers. And here we have our general web scraper, which scrapes anything on the web. And there's also some specific web scraper, for example, Google Maps, Amazon, there we also have the Google job scrapers and also the LinkedIn job scrapers here. So here you can see these are all the inputs that we can input. So for example, if I were to type in Python developers and I set the page to page one, and here if I were to run this, you can see that we have our data showing on the right. And then what we can do here is we can click on read documentations. And here you can see there is a documentation for LinkedIn job scraper. So what we can do here is we can click on copy and click on copy the page as the markdown for the large language model, or we can also click on view as markdown, which we can copy that link and come back to Claude and basically paste it here. And that's gonna be the markdown format for large language model to understand for the API documentation. So that's what I did. Here you can see on the right, we have the prompt that Claude generates, and we can use this prompt to let Claude to use the MCP tools to create that NAN workflow, right? So in that case, let's take a look at the prompt really quick. So here we have our web scraper API, which uses the HTTP request node. And the purpose of this is to scrape LinkedIn jobs, right? Then we also have the Google Sheets uh, integrations, right? So we can append, we can also update. And this is the AI uh, job evaluation, which uses the OpenAI or other AI nodes to analyze the jobs. And then we also have a decision logic, then we also have a resume and the job outputs. And then here's the additional requirements and air handlings, data processing, so very detailed. So in that case, let's try to copy this and basically let Claude to use this MCP to create a workflow. So we're just gonna uh, paste this prompt here, send this request, and let's see what it generates. All right, so now you can see that it has fully completed. And if we were to scroll up a bit, you can see that these are the key features. And if we were to navigate to the NAN, you can see that we have a AI job match workflow created. So if I were to open this, okay, so now you can see that we have our workflow created. All right, so to start changing here, you can see the first node is the search parameter. So we can change our search parameters here, right? So for example, what type of job we wanna search for, the location, the page, and then inside of our HTTP request, here you can see we have our request, and this is the query parameter, which contains the API key, the field the name, all that kind of things. So here I'm just gonna come back to scraping dog and I'm just gonna copy the API key and we're just gonna change it for this one. All right, so now if I were to run this request, you can see that we have 10 jobs found since we're looking for data science jobs. And here you can see these are all the 10 jobs and each job has a link. So if I were to click on this, for the schema, you can see we have job link, we have the company, we have the location, we have the company logo, and all that kind of things. And here what I realized is that 
because we are able to scrape all the jobs, it does not have the job description for each job. So come back to the documentation. You can see that for scraping jobs, this is the one that we just used. And there's also a scrape LinkedIn job overview. So it's gonna be the same one, but instead there's also a parameter for the job ID. So we pass the job ID and it will basically help us to find that particular job. And here you can see this example response, which has the position, the location, also the job description. So in that case, let's also view this as markdown and I'm gonna copy this link. And here you can see I basically provide the problem and also the API documentation and tell Cloud to modify the current LAN workflow based on the problem that I have. All right, so now you can see it has update the AI job match workflow to include the critical job description fetch step. And here you can see this is the structure. So now if I were to refresh, you can see that we have our scrape LinkedIn jobs and fetch job detail. So now you can see that we have both HTTP requests added onto our workflow. And now if I were to execute the workflow, let's see what it looks like. And because we're getting an error for the service receiving too much requests, so I just add a limit for just only uh, passing just maximum one item to this node. So let's try to run this one more time. And here you can see that we have our data. So let's see what data looks like. So you can see we have our job descriptions. What's also really cool about this is that it also scrapes the number of applicants so that you also can get an idea for the competitiveness for this role. And there could also be a potential where we can get the recruiter details. Awesome, so now you can see that we can be able to create our NAN workflows using this MCP and Claude. And all we have to do is just simply interact with Claude Desktop and it will basically create the NAN workflows for us or even update the existing workflows using this method that I show you. Now for this workflow, I'll just leave it like this. I don't want to set up the credentials because I have already created a workflow like this before. And if you're curious about how to create a AI job match workflow, that's exactly like this. And you can check out this video right here, which I will show you how to create a AI job match workflow, which does exactly what I talk about here. So if you're interested, you can check out this video here. All right, so pretty much I want to end the video here and pretty much you can use this MCP for creating your NAN with Claude, with Cursor, with Windsurf to basically build your NAN workflows for you. So if you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video and consider subscribe for more content like this. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video.